Hello and welcome in uh, Picto 2.5, our latest release. It's packed with uh, new features and uh, tons of improvements, and I'm going to walk you through uh, the main ones. Let's get started. The main thing you'll notice in uh, this new release of Picto is the change in the uh, user interface. Um, we we changed basically what happens on the on the very left of the of the window where we have these action buttons. And previously, they were used to change the, between the views, but it felt unnatural because they were driving something that happens really on, on the further far right of the of the window. So we've changed that. Now the, the action buttons are essentially driving what you see in the sidebar. And this is more convenient because the sidebar could become very long and, and could be cluttered with many different concepts. So now we've, we've separated them into their own uh, uh, their own views. So here I'm looking at my sources organized by source type. If I switch to the volumes view, which was also available in the previous release, I can now um, see my sources uh, in the in sort of a finder view where I can see where they are located in in terms of volumes and folders, etc. So this is now dedicated in this view. My albums have their own view, albums and smart albums, and the plus button uh, has been added to um, to the views when relevant in order to add uh, new things. So for example, in the case of albums, I can create folders or new albums, new smart albums. The video bins are also uh, have also their own view, uh, and as smart albums, I can create new ones from the plus button or create uh, a new folder in order to organize them. The apps also have their own view, and here there is no plus button, but I have a, uh, a little button that lets me access the apps settings uh, if I want to change anything, uh, remove some workspaces, add, add new ones, etc. There is also a new button here for share spaces, which is a new concept that I'm going to explain uh, a little bit later. On the left, we've um, moved also the uh, export and share button here and the trash, very important um, uh, feature here is now located at the very bottom of that new view. Now that you can switch between the various concepts from the left, how do you change the um, view type? Well, now the buttons are located just below the view, which feels much more natural. So if I want to go to the map, I simply click on the map icon, go back to grid, go to panorama, see my faces, go to detail view. This all happens from the bottom of the view. We have also expanded the drag and drop capabilities. When you want, say, to add an image to an album, you can now drag the image, go to the hover over the album tab, and it's going to open the album that you can use to drop the item. It works similarly with video bins. The video bin tab opens as you hover over the uh, over the icon on the left. The next very important feature of Picto 2.5 um, is the new notion of share spaces. In previous version of Picto Pro, and that by the way, this is a pro feature, you could invite people um, to uh, a shared area by simply clicking on a source or an album and say share with the team and you could create a shared area. Now we've uh, named them share spaces and you can uh, manage them much more easily in this release. So whenever I create a shared area like um, from a source for example, um, I get a new entry in the share spaces uh, tab here in Picto. So if we look at, for example, this phishing project, share space, if I open the edit dialog, it's very similar to the dialog we had before. Uh, you can see all the sources that are shared in, in this share space. In this case, I only have one. I can add my collaborators uh, as previously and give them some, some rights to um, access the, uh, the share space. What's new is uh, you can now invite guests. So that's a, um, a new feature. You can uh, enable public sharing, in which case you can send a link to people that do not have uh, Picto installed, of course, because they will access it over the internet and with a browser. But you don't need a license for those people. These are just guests that have limited access. They can 
possibly download and make uh, comments but uh, that's it they won't be able to search or do more advanced things that collaborators can do we've uh, changed that dialog so you have uh, more immediate feedback on what's happening. For example, here it's telling him that, that my server is running locally. I can copy the address that I can share with my guests or copy the address that I can share with uh, my collaborators. So that's, um, that's new. And um, what is also new is I can see exactly what is shared from the user interface. So if I click on uh, this, um, all these share spaces here, for example, there's one share space with three sources. I can see exactly what's inside that. Uh, no, actually, this is just one, one source, but three people here. I have four sources in that share space. I can see uh, immediately what's, what's shared. So what happens if I um, invite someone? He will get an invitation email. He will be then able to join uh, the share space. And um, if I copy the link, for a collaborator and go here. That's new as well. If I'm logged in as this collaborator here, collaborator three at sim.io, he will have a new um, home screen where he can access all the share spaces in which he's been invited. And he will see the ones that are shared by my Picto, but he will possibly also see, see the others that have been shared by other Picto instances running in on different machines or uh, in different places, different countries, whatever, what, what all the projects he's uh, contributing to. So here I've just invited him to go to, to participate to this phishing project. So if he clicks on that link, it tells me that uh, I will be redirected because um, the share space is running locally. So if I'm on the same network, which is the case here, it will simply open the, um, the share space at the correct address. So you don't have to worry if you share a link with someone, like if I'm in Picto here, go back to edit. If I share a link with someone, even though it's a link that is uh, pointing to sim.io, if the share space is running locally, which is the case because my server is uh, currently running locally, Picto will, um, well, the, the server will automatically redirect to the correct address. So now here I, uh, I can access the, the share space. I have my search um, and uh, it just works as expected. There is a new tab here that lets you add comments to, uh, to images. It's something we're going to leverage in the future as well to, um, to make those comments surface in inside the app to see what people are have been doing with the with the space that you shared with them. If I click on the home button, I go back to all my uh, share spaces. Go to Java and Real. Here I see I have uh, four sources that have been shared. If I'm interested into food it's going to run that search directly on Picto and use the um, Picto semantic engine to bring back all the content that is relevant to the search. We've expanded also the, the things that you can display at the bottom and you can display a new collaboration tab that tells you how many comments, for example, have been put on the various uh, items. So these are share spaces and uh, the same works for guests if I copy that link here which is the, the link that I would share with a guest paste it here it's going to tell me again that um, this is going to redirect so if I'm here looking at uh, sharing this with someone that is on the same network but that doesn't have a license for Picto um, it will just work Otherwise, if it's someone that I that is uh, located elsewhere, of course, I would have needed to start my Picto in uh, public sharing using Internet. So here it's redirecting on the local um, network and you can see the experience is slightly different. I don't have access to search. I, I can access to comments and I can add comments if um, I've been allowed to do that. But otherwise, it's uh, it's mainly a, a browse interface. We've changed the, um, the navigation in detail view, so it's, it's more modern and it's uh, also more responsive. And I have access to my download buttons because 
I've been allowed to download. So I can download the original or download the thumbnail. This version of Picto comes also with a new feature for uh, people doing videos. That's the ability to generate video proxies. So proxies are um, simplified version of your video files that can be used in the web browser or, or can be used to view the content when the original is offline, for example. So from the video tab in the settings, you can now um, activate the generation of proxies, choose a specific folder for your proxies because they don't need to be uh, located in the same folder as your catalog and choose a format. You can also choose the long dimension of your proxies. Uh, that's going to be the size in pixels of the longest dimension. The proxies are now used uh, in our player. So if I go, for example, and open the uh, black magic row folder. These are all black magic row files. Uh, previously, we could not play them. Now we uh, play the proxy. So we always get a uh, playback in the case of uh, content for which we don't have a native player. And it also translates into the web browser. So if I go into the web view here, looking at the same folder here, black magic row. I can, we, we used to have the, uh, the scrubber here, but now if I go into the player, not, notice that we have a different uh, player here for the, um, for the content in detail view, I can play my Black Magic Raw content because I'm playing back the proxy. I can also from the download button, download the proxy video in addition to the original video, which is also a new feature. We've made many improvements to Picto for photographers as well in many areas such as uh, Apple Photos, a Capture One. We've improved also some of the uh, rendering of uh, previews for Lightroom. And there's one area where we made also a change in the UI and that's with uh, faces. We've added the ability in the case where Picto didn't detect any faces to add faces manually if you want to. So you can now position a new face on an undetected face and name it. Assume it's the same person here, or well, I can use the same Steve, for example. So this is a, a new ability for Picto to create faces when um, you need them and they haven't been detected. We've also changed the way we um, render faces in, in the UI and made it much more uh, appealing, I think. If I am a Picto standard version user, not a pro user, I won't have access to share spaces, but um, I will still have access, of course, to the remote access. So here, if I open my uh, Picto and log in with the account that is the uh, the one that is currently sharing. I will see here the a new item called my picto. So here, what we are looking at is all the all the share spaces I have access to. But of course, as the administrator of this instance of picto, I can access to um, all my sources as before. So this experience hasn't changed and I get the benefits of uh, the, the new uh, improved user interface and um, the uh, commenting. I can add comments as well into my own data if I want to. And I can um, access my, my downloads. In the case of videos, you can now also access the download of proxies from the uh, detail view user interface. From share spaces with new guest capabilities, an improved web interface, new possibilities with faces, video proxies and improvements to the UI in general, we are confident that this release will make Picto a great component in your workflow, whether you are a photographer or a videographer, whether you are a solo creator or part of a team. Thanks for watching.